So we have just been continuously, continuously getting hammered with, with snow. We got another, I don't know, eight inches yesterday. It's just been wild. I mean, when I was growing up, I remember we used to get just tons of snow like this every year. But then it seems like, I don't know, it, it seems like it, it hasn't really happened like that for quite a while. Not the case this year. So we got a fresh coat of snow. Um, this is a little, what is this? I think it's Swedish. It's like a Swedish chapel. And I wanted to get a shot of this after snowfall. So here we are. <laughs> I need snowshoes. Got those spikes on my feet, but man, it's, uh, it's deep real deep so anyway I hope you all don't mind watching me tromp around in the snow some more because that's what I'm doing this was kind of on a whim we got a it was snowing all day yesterday and I got up and decided hey I'm gonna come try and take this shot because I don't know how much I mean in another couple weeks there probably won't be any snow anywhere so here I am So I like how the trees are framing this up. So I think I'm gonna shoot it with a 90, my 90 from right about here, and then I might step back and shoot it with the 150 as well, but I wanna walk around a little bit more too. At this point, I kinda of wish I had a little bit more time already, cause like I said, I gotta make sure I get my butt back and the roads are kinda of crappy, so. But let's see what we can, figure out here. I kind of like that spotty sun in there too, only not when it's super, super intense. So I'm hoping it kind of stays behind those hazy clouds because I think that'll be cool. But I think I'll kind of take what I can get right now. Good thing is, is this is not super, I think it's about an hour and a half drive from me. Um, so it's not super far from my house, but that doesn't mean I don't want to make it count, right? So let's level that out for a sec, rotate the back. It's one of those things too where I, you know, sometimes I do grab stuff out of that camera bag and I just grabbed it, grabbed my cooler with the film in it. And so I hope I have everything I need, quite frankly. So far, it looks like I do. I can raise the camera a bit so I can raise this up here all together. Ooh. That's just mean. Some of you are probably like, what, does he live in the Antarctic? <laughs> Let's just get it level again. There. <laughs> Let's push it down as far as it'll go, I guess. Should be good. Feels somewhat stable. Let's 
just see where we're at. If we put the nine and two thirds at four. And I think instead of trying to get this stuff, like trying to wait for it to freeze, um, I'm at a half second. I'm gonna just wait till the wind picks up and try and work with it and see what that uh, motion blur in there looks like. Cause I think that might even look cooler cause the trees are gonna be nice and still, but the branches will be kind of swirling around. So I'm actually gonna go with it instead of trying to get those still. I'm gonna go the opposite. Who knows? Maybe it'll maybe it'll work out. Maybe it won't. But we'll see. All right, so I got this framed up just kind of the top half of it. The sun keeps kind of peeking in and out. Well, we're gonna go ahead and just take this. Uh, my tripod's like buried in the snow. I got the extension all the way up and I'm at a half second. I'm just gonna kind of hold my breath while I do expose this one. But we'll see what we get. Just kind of a close up of the woodwork and stuff. It looks, I kind of like how it looks, so here it goes. That felt good, that felt good. So that was my last sheet of film. Uh, like I said, the roads are kinda, still kinda crappy, so I gotta get home. Uh, I got another photo shoot tonight. So, hope you liked coming trucking along in the snow with me one more time. And we'll see you in the next video, guys. Take care.